In the barren highlands of South America, not much of a diverse, colorful life seems to be present. Especially now that temperatures around 10 degrees Celsius on a sunny morning in spring. This is the story of not only a new species of the hyperdiverse group of tarantula spiders, but one of it was so unique that it required their placement within the tree of life as a distinct group, a newly established genus. But under the protection of the dull brown spinifex grass, in the secure of ancient rocks and solid green protections, the little jewels roam the landscape. Even though they are tarantula spiders, these individuals appear to be on the smaller end of the scale. But they might always remember that their bigger cousins, the goliath bird-eating tarantula, is just a few thousand meters down the hill and some hundred kilometers away in the Amazon basin. Who was first? The giant tarantula from the lush tropical forest walking up the hills and getting smaller in thousands of years of evolution? Or did these dwarf excavators walk down from the cold mountaintops to the lush green forests and evolve into something bigger? This and many more questions regarding the ecology of these outstanding spiders is still unknown that's why young people with fascination are needed to find out more about them. Now this tarantula species is named after a fictional universal mastermind in the Czech popular culture, a national myth of the modern Czech Republic. Antikuna Cimermani builds slightly silked tunnels underneath rocks which tend to have a S curvature and do not extend into the ground. Usually the specimens can be found directly underneath rocks. On one occasion we found two specimens underneath the same rocks, having two tunnels and their entries completely separate from each other. The population density was rather high as well. Multiple tarantulas from various life stages could be found within a spot with their preferred microclimate and setting. This makes the species highly prone to potential extreme habitat disruption with severe outcome within an area of just 20 by 20 meters. Over 15 individuals could be found within minutes. Outside of its preferred habitat, no specimens could be found because of the lack of rock formations. So we've successfully managed to find Anticuna Cimermani here at the type site at around 4,000 meters above sea level. And I'm extremely happy uh, to have seen this species in the wild, not only because it's a new species, but also because I'm one of the authors of describing this species. So extremely grateful to be part of that amazing project and truly blessed now to show you some of the footage and pictures we took here at the type site of Anticuna Cimermani. They live underneath rocks and uh, just as any other high Andean uh, tarantula we found so far in Peru. Nevertheless, we will continue our travels and um, give you now some footage from the spider itself. We are now at the type site of Anticuna Cimermani. This is the area we are going to search for this species. I'll give you some habitat impressions on how the area actually looks so you get the best possible experience out of this tarantula expedition here in Peru and hopefully we're going to find a specimen then of course we'll show you some pictures and videos of that one as well and if you have a short break leave a comment down below tell us what you like most tell us what you don't like about these videos so we can improve upon and leave a like on the video itself, that would help us tremendously. Now, keep on watching. The word Anticuna has its origin in the Quechua language, referring to the Andean mountain range. The Quechua language area extends from the south of Colombia through large parts of Ecuador, Peru and Bolivia to the north of Chile and Argentina.